Recently, Jason Trier has claimed to have spoken to 11 current and former Blizzard employees about Diablo 4. They all spoke anonymously because they were not authorized to speak to the press. To read the full article, you can check the links in the description below. It is said Blizzard made an announcement to the development team that Diablo 3's second expansion was cancelled, and that they wanted to move on to Diablo 4. The dev team felt as if there may have been a vote from the Blizzard executives with the thought that Diablo 3 was a giant screw up. Even before the launch of Reaper of Souls and they saw Diablo 3 as unrevivable. Eventually after many project cancellations and development issues, Blizzard's Team 3 started working on a project codenamed Fenris. That is the current version of Diablo 4 and the team has been working on it since 2016. A current Blizzard employee said there's a lot of people who felt like Diablo 3 got away from what made Diablo, Diablo, in terms of art style and spell effects, and that Fenris is aiming to look more like Diablo 2. The employee stated they want to make it gross, they want to make it dark, and get rid of anything that was considered cartoony in Diablo 3. Make what people were afraid of in Diablo 2, but modern. Fenris is said to still be in early development and likely won't be released until 2020 or later, depending on their ongoing development process and the decisions they want to make in the future. One of the current discussions is whether to keep the camera angle or to have an over the shoulder third person view. Another core process is to make Diablo more social, taking inspiration from Destiny which Blizzard calls light MMO elements. And what they mean by this is adding more multiplayer aspects to the game such as cities. This was in many ways in development even on Diablo 2, with the guild houses that Blizzard North was not able to finish in time for the release.